Hello everyone and welcome to TIP Annual Conference 2022. Teamed the Parenting Advantage. We're bringing you coaches from all over the world, from Nigeria, Australia, Germany, Canada, the USA and the United Kingdom, even India. Get ready, your mind will be blown, your parenting game will be lifted high. You want to be a part of this. My name is Joy Unspeakable and I am the official MC of the Intentional Parents Academy. See you. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to day two, day three rather, of the Intentional Parent Annual Conference. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome. We've had a session today. How has it been for you? How has the conference day one, day two? Yesterday was explosive. Today, two. How has it been for you? What has come on? Come on. It's been fire, fire, fire everywhere. All the speakers have been amazing, amazing. Welcome once again to the Intentional Parent Annual Conference 2022. It's a pleasure to have you here. This is the time to send reminders to your friends. This is the time to share the link on your WhatsApp status. This is the time to put it on your Instagram stories. This is the time to share on Facebook. Invite your friends. Remind them that it is time again to come online, to come to camp, to come to the parenting camp, the parenting convention, the parenting, what else can we call you? The mountain of parenting. Tell them it is time to be here we expect them notify everybody put up the fire emojis let's set this place on fire you're welcome say welcome to somebody beside you say some welcome to someone sitting close to you ask them how has it been i'm saying close to you in the in the chat obviously say hi to them welcome yourselves welcome your friends child everybody it's time for the intentional parent annual conference the second session for today um, the last session was explosive. I don't know about you. I don't know what you learned. And um, I don't know what you would like to share. A lot of wisdom. A lot of wisdom. Our, oh, God. Our speakers are wise. They are amazing. They are amazing, amazing, amazing. So, um, parents, share in the comments. Share in the chat. What was your takeaway from the last session? If you were in the last session, what was your takeaway? Okay, what was your take away? The parenting advantage is a parent that understands that legacy is branding. Come on, come on. Parenting is beyond academic distinction. The goal of parenting is succession, not just a success academically. We're not just raising children to have uh, to come first in class. It is a legacy, it is succession, it is just put in there what you have learned so far welcome everybody once again welcome to the tip annual conference you're really really welcome so this conference is about empowering you as a parent my name is ademumi onofami and i am your moderator for today once again i'd like to say thank you to coach wendy and intentional parents academy for giving me the opportunity to do this again today so um like i said it is time to share with your friends let everybody around you know that we are here and it's about to begin again we're about to get immersed again so um i don't know i'm yet to see anybody put in the chat what they took away from the last session please put in the chat what you took away from the last session we need feedback from you we want to hear the last session was amazing it was amazing we want to hear drop your fire, fire emojis to show how hot it was okay so in case you do not know this is the intentional parent um conference and it's a gathering of parents it's a gathering to empower parents and it is hosted by wendy ologe wendy ologe is the curator and the convener of this conference and she is the headmistress principal mommy geo professor Mama Yad of the intentional parent inner circle there's an inner circle yeah somebody said a quote without a coach is a cockroach very that's that one <laughs> so inner circle everybody there's an inner circle i i guess you've been hearing all about the inner circle that the inner circle in the academy it is the innermost of the innermost this is where all the wisdom is shared really literally what you have here is still the tip of the iceberg you want you really want to get the iceberg come into the academy 
on um on if you just check below your screen you'll see the details call send a whatsapp message find out how you can get into the academy the academy is very beneficial inner circle is very very beneficial for you as a parent you need to get into the inner circle our speaker for today is already in the house if you are excited um that is uncle seller you probably i don't know if you're in the inner circle or you've attended this um parenting conference before you probably have heard of uncle seller so um just before it comes up would like to take a review of the inner circle so that you know that the inner circle is not a joke it's literally transforming families it's transforming parents into superstars to superheroes into people who change and mold destinies so we'd like to take a review uh, of the inner circle now inner circle review please so what do you have to say about parents that have not joined the inner circle i think they are missing they are just oh, wow. uh, long and short of it because um, if you all about life is um, knowledge and um, bible even said it, that my people praise for lack of knowledge so the quest for knowledge is that one will go after knowledge and the bible even said it, that um, um wisdom is the principal thing with all that getting get understanding so i wonder why some persons we hear about inner circle that they will not join because just to the you know it's all about bringing the better um part out of you and then uh, bring your children up intentionally most importantly and fundamentally and critically that is just the bottom line for me they take in um, in um, um, intentional parent academy is just about intentionality and uh, quite appreciate that it's That's quite a journey mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i like to say this as well that it, it's not just um, it's not just the learning on, on the children alone. It also affects we as a couple. Like, um, we're not there yet, especially myself. You know, we're not there yet. In fact, the both of us. But then <laughs> we are learning, you know, the learning of um, having to calm down, having to teach our children structures, having to teach them boundaries, and a whole lot. It's, it's a, you know, Intentional parenting gives you power. It makes you, it, it makes you indeed in control. You know, all that gra -gra we used to do before, we thought we were in control. Shut up, sit down there, you know, that. But with intentional parenting, even with you calmly saying everything, the children actually understand better and they come to terms with it. They, you find out that with intentional parenting, you, um, you're actually in control and your children understand that. Really? That, yes, this is the per the person talking to me is my parents, and I need to. If I don't, I will self consequence. For me, they are already. In fact, everywhere I go to, in my church, everywhere, everybody knows me as Mama Consequence. So I'm so grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. It's not just affecting we our relationship with our children alone. It's affecting it's our relationship. Us, yeah, I remember when it uh, it helps it helps me particularly a lot because of my temperament, and I've been able to. You know, like I said, for me, the take there is intentionality and um, emotional. The inner circle does not just transform you as a parent. It literally, it's like a package, all in one package. It transforms your life emotionally. Your marriage is transformed. Everything is transformed. Wow. What a review. Why haven't you joined the inner circle? You know, if you check the chat, there are details of how to book a slot to get into the inner circle. You can pay in installments. It's 50,000. You pre-register. You book a slot with 5,000 Naira. And you need to get in as soon as possible because uh, the slots are getting filled up and you really want to get into the inner circle. You want the accountability. You want the intentionality. And ladies and gentlemen, let's delve right into why we are here today. Our speaker is here already and I am super, super excited. I've seen him backstage already. He's already excited to be here, so I'm excited too. And I have my notepad. My Okay, I'm not using my notepad today. I have here for my note if you have your notepad bring out your notepad bring out your pen it's time to write it's time to get wisdom we have uncle seller in the house 
Uncle Sela, you're welcome to the TIP Conference 2022. We are so excited to have you here. Uh, we can't wait for the juice of what you have to say to us today. We, we can't wait for the wisdom you're about to pour into our lives as parents today. Um, just before he comes up, we're going to listen to his bio. We're going to listen and um, yeah. A quote from Nisela Kumo, popularly A quote from Nisela Kumo, popularly known as Uncle Sele, is a values and character coach for children. He is also an associate lecturer with the Institute of Student Affairs Management and Institute for Family Protection. His purpose is to build and frame the minds of the upcoming generation to make the right decision based on values. He is the founder of an the online school for values, character, and child mentoring called Trees and Pillars. It runs classes like Becoming a Values Class, Boys Arena, a Coaching for Boys, Princesses Court, a Coaching for Girls. A quote from the is also a storyteller on his podcast called Bedtime Stories for Children with over 2,900 days in 15 countries. He also has a song mm -hmm. yeah, called The Values and the Values and A to Z of Values, which was launched on the 27th of May 2021. He also wrote the I Am Special Code for Children Against Special Abuse. Every year, the Ecoseller Foundation runs different intervention programs for children like The Birth for Children in the Special Correctional Center for Boys and Girls, Christmas Memories for Less Privileged Children, and Christmas Day Party and Games. Uncle Sele served as a soldier in the Nigerian Army for 13 years. He has worked and has volunteered with several NGOs like Emprotect Nigeria Foundation, Sears Don, Safe School Africa, Feed a Child, Close a Child, Heritage Children Foundation, and Ciceriara Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome to the Intentional Parent Annual Conference 2022. Welcome, Uncle Sele. Welcome. We're so excited to have you here. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I like Thank the painting so behind you. you. Oh, uh, so, some kids did that for me. So. Uh, that's why I had to show, I had to show, you know, that <laughs> these are children, as in like, you know, they're already doing great things, you know, so that's why it's there on my wall. Thank you so much. Well, Thank you so much. The Wendy. floor is yours now. You have 45 minutes. Okay, 45 minutes. All right. Okay, so everyone, I want to thank you so much um, for this opportunity. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, um, the Intentional Parenting Academy. Thank you to every parent listening to me today. So today we'll be talking about raising your child and I will be talking about the fig leave concept. Now I'm sure that you know most of us are you know are, are waiting. What's what does what does it mean? What does this fig leave mean? What does this fig leave mean? But I'm going to start with a question. With a question. In whose image do you train or parent your kids? In whose image? Now, the Bible says that, you know, God made us after his own image. Do you understand? But, you know, the problem that we're having these days is that a whole lot of us as parents, we do not, you know, we shift away from God's image and we begin to parent our children with another concept. We are parenting them in our own image. So what then happens is, we are throwing our experiences. We are throwing the way, you know, our parents, our parents raised us, you know. And most times, it can be very, very confusing for our kids. Now, if you look outside, if you look at our society, you will find out that a lot of things have gone wrong. That is why I will also use this opportunity to tell you that if you have not joined the TIP Academy, you are wasting time because... You know, there's something I don't know. I've, I've, I've always talked about it in in um, in in this conference. I talked about it in the last conference. There's something called the agile of parenting. You know, we I parent my child, you parent your child, and you know, when they get to the society, what we have trained them is what they show forth. 
So most times, because some children are not well trained and they clash with children, we have issues. You know, there was a time I, you know, I was talking to Wendy and she said something like, look, those days are gone. If we don't train your children well, we will not allow them mix with our own. Do you understand? Coach Wendy is doing a whole lot of things. She's training, training parents. They're transferring to children. And, you know, some other people just think, oh, it doesn't really matter. But guess what? Your children will meet other people's children. Then there will be a clash. So now let's go to our topic today. I'm going to read out something. It says, I am created in God's image, and God is love. If I am uncomfortable with God, it means I'm uncomfortable with love. If I'm uncomfortable with love, I am uncomfortable with myself. If I'm uncomfortable with myself, I will be uncomfortable with others. So it means that if you don't understand the concept of love, trust me, if you don't understand the concept of who you are, made in God's image, you who is love, you will transfer the wrong things to your kids. And you know, today I'm not talking about values. You know, my life has been about values to kids. But this time around, I'm talking to parents. I'm talking to fathers. I'm talking to mothers. I am talking about the concept of love. I'm talking about the concept of, you know, the, the things that we transfer to our children. So I'm going to ask another question. Do you love model mentor? You know, do, 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 do your children have that mindset about you that you love, you mentor them, you model? Or is their lives about criticizing, disapproval, and always correcting? Now, we find out that our children, a whole lot of children in the society, do not have that love. Now, this leads to the fig leaf concept. Now, the fig leaf, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was actually correcting them saying that parenting with a fig leaf is actually wrong. Because the fig leaf concept is a concept that is something that happens to your children when you leave them in a certain kind of way. I'm going to lead us back to the Bible. When Adam and Eve made a mistake, when they sinned against God, something happened. Something happened. That's where this big leaf concept came from. When God asked them, where are you? Because if you remember, every time, every time God comes just with them, he was creating intimacy. He was creating connection. He was connecting with them, telling, giving them instructions, giving them teachings. That's why he said to them, eat everything you want to eat, but this one, don't eat. The Bible says, here, son, to your father's, uh, your father's instructions and your mother's teachings. Then I ask another question to you today. Where are the instructions? Where are the teachings? Are we, are we very close to our children? Do we connect with them or do we leave them in this state? When Adam and Eve sinned, the first thing they did, the first thing they did was they covered their shame in fig leaves. They covered their shame in fig leaves. So I'm going to break down, you know, the, 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 the acronym. I'm going, to, I'm going to come up with, you know, okay, you know, I was reading the book and it was amazing. The fig leaf is a state you must never leave your children in. The fig leaf, it is what is killing us today in the society. It is what is killing us. I was reading the news and, and a 15-year-old boy kidnapped his friend or wanted to use his friend for rituals because he wants to drive a car. There is the absence of values. That's why the only thing he's thinking of is what he's seen. There was no proper transfer. He was left in a state that will make him make a decision that will be detrimental to his best friend. So I want to say this now. As parents, when you have children, the way God 
created Adam and, Adam and Eve and put them in the, the Garden of Eden, when you have your kids, your home is the first Garden of Eden. That's your home. That place where you will give instructions. That place where you will love them. That place where you will create, you know, this intimacy. That place where you will tell them, look, this is what, this is how to do this. This is how to do this. I always say that there are some transfers that you must give to your children. You must, you, you must, you must, there must be the transfer of God. You, you mean your children must know about God from you. Your children must know about themselves. That's all you, ident as in the identity transfer must come from you. You are telling them that you are made in God's own image. And you see, when God made us, he said, he said, now let us make this new creation, humanity, in our own image, fashioned in our likeness. Let us grant them authority. That your child has authority. That your child already has in, in him fruitfulness and multiplication. That your child already has the, the concept or the, you know, that thing to, you know, to have dominion. It is you who begins to say, this is how to use it. If your child doesn't understand that concept, they will run wild because it is already in them. That is why Coach Wendy will always tell you that we are raising kings and queens because by nature, that is, that is who they are. They are already kings. They are already queens. The name of my online school is called Trees and Pillars. It's gotten from the Bible. It says your sons will be like trees and your daughters will be like pillars. Fit for the palace. They are already kings and queens. But what we do most times is that we scatter or we destroy that concept. And most times we do it, you know, sometimes when they say, know how you correct your child. Because those things have a way of affecting them. Those things have a way of You who we teach them, you because when they go out, there is always a you know, you know, there's this thing like I'm a king, I'm a queen, even if they don't know, even if you know they've not told them. Because most times, most parents don't tell them. Because if you start early to tell your child that you're a king, you're a queen, when they grow older, they will already know. But most times, think about it it is when you grow older that you begin to know that you are made in God's own image, and they begin to tell you that do you know that. You know, you were made to dominate. Meanwhile, as a child, you should know that already. So now let's go to the fig leaf concept. When Adam and Eve sinned, they had fig leaves over them. Then God, who is love, did something. He changed their clothes. Because he said, if I leave you in these fig leaves, you'll be destroyed for life. So now let's go to the acronym. The first one is F. Now, the first one, the first F is fear. When your child does something wrong to you and you react, you hammer, you scatter, and you think, you forget who they are, and what you want to do is express how you are feeling, you begin to leave your child. In the fig, then there is rejection. There is there is this the fear, intimacy, and connection with their parents. They become aware of that. Imperfection. They are saying, "Is this me? Is this how I am?" Do you understand? Then they are not driven by performance, you know, to to please daddy and mommy. But that your child is a king, that your child will make mistakes. What is needed is the instruction and the teaching. But if you leave them in fig leaves, the first F is fear. Your child begins to live in what? Fear. It happens, we see it every day. Sometimes parents wonder how children love me so much. Let me tell you the secret. 
I always remember that this child is the image of God. And the way God wants us to, you know, relate with them is to love them, to instruct them, to teach them, to nurture them. So, but you see, when we react and make them feel less of themselves, they live in fear. The next one is insecurity. I. Insecurity. When fear takes root, your children become insecure. Your children become insecure. So when you are parenting with the fig leaf concept, what you are doing is you are destroying a child. Because if your child grows in insecurity, it means that your child is unsure of himself or herself. Your, 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 your child is, is not confident. Your child is anxious. There is a deep belief that they are not good enough. There's a deep belief that they're not good enough. And we cannot continue to have children who think that they're not good enough. Do you know, let me tell you something. My daughter, I have, to, I have you know, three, three daughters, then I have a lot around the world. Now, the second one, who is eight years old, she is not too strong in maths. She's not too strong. The last girl is, she likes, she likes, she likes book, as we, as we always say. You know, so she's always coming to me to say, Daddy, I don't know why I'm not getting maths. But when it comes to other subjects, things like in, things in language, art, art, she's fantastic. So I, I tell her, let me tell you the truth. Look, you are bright, you are smart, you are intelligent, and you are responsible. You, you, learn, you, you know maths, but you might not know as fast as other people. Do you understand? So it means that you need more effort. You need more time. You need to, you need to, you need to put, you know, you need to study more. The other one doesn't need all those things. She does move. She's, she has gotten it. But you see, what I never made her feel, I didn't, I, I didn't make her feel, you know, unsure or less of herself. So when she brings her, when she brings her, her report sheet, if she was failing before, she started getting 20, 30, over 60 in her exams, 40. She now comes to me and says, Daddy, am I doing well? I said, I told you. Then she started telling me, Daddy, I am bright, smart, intelligent, and responsible. She believed in herself. She wasn't insecure again about maths. She started doing it. She said, do you understand? It is how you make them feel. If your child is insecure, there is a problem. Because most times, you, 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 in your mind, you have, you have a perfect child. In your mind, you have a perfect child. So what you want to do is that you want to you want to throw that perfection to the child, and you want the child to be perfect at once. It's a lie. It is what it is a lie. You cannot you cannot do that to your children, and no no two are the same. So you cannot leave your children in fear. I, I don't understand. They used to do things like that where children will be afraid of their parents. Where your child will be afraid to talk to daddy and mommy. It's those days they used to do all those things. And most times we carry it forward and we say, my child must fear me. Your child doesn't need to fear you. Your child needs to love you and come to you to talk to you about their weaknesses. Because yes, they will have. You are not perfect. Do you understand that? So you cannot leave your child in fear. You cannot leave your child insecure. Your child cannot begin to feel that they're not good enough. Low self-image, low self-esteem, no ideal image. They don't feel safe, loved, or valued. And most times, insecurity is linked to parents who are always angry, who shout always, and threaten children. If you threaten your children every time, if you abuse them, you know, if you are always angry, you are, what you are doing is that you are, you are pumping insecurity in your children. You are pumping it. And next thing, you begin to wonder, when your child begins to ask in certain ways, you're wondering, where did, where did you get this thing from? What you are doing is transferring your imperfection to your children. What you should have dealt with. If you don't understand what love is, begin to understand that you are love because you are made in God's own image. Then begin to transfer love to your children. The G is guilt. Guilt is self-conscious emotion that involves negative evaluation of self, you know, feeling of failure, your child begins to worry, your child begins to cry, begins to regret. Guilt. I did this to mommy. I did this to daddy. Ah, 
I, I'm not okay. I tell my children, if you have done anything wrong, come and tell me. Don't lie. There's no need. Because I tell them that look, I'm your father and I'm the priest. And God will tell me everything that you have done. Do you understand? God will tell me. Do you understand? Stop transferring your imperfection to children, to your children. Stop it. If you don't, let me tell you, let me, let me, before, before I continue with it, if you don't, what you are doing is you are making it a pattern. This is how I am. I will transfer to my children. This is how they will become. When they grow older, they will transfer to their children and say, this is how our family is. Eh -eh. That is not how your family is. It is what you have collected and agreed to be true. If God has left Adam and Eve in fig leaves, what do you think would have happened to us? If God, if, if he didn't love us and he gave Jesus Christ for us so that we can come to him boldly, do you understand? Just imagine what would have happened. So I would just be looking, doing like this, looking around. I'm ashamed. I sinned. I'm ashamed. Ah, I'm ashamed. No! That is, that is how some, some children live in homes. They, they, are, they, they, they live in guilt. So I didn't pass my exams today. My father would think I'm useless. It's because of our thinking and our transfer that we are, that we are having children do the things they do right now in the society. Yes. It is because of that thinking, that kind of attitude, that our children then act the way they act in the society. We transfer. We leave them in fig leaves. The next one is L, loneliness, loneliness. I am not good enough. I live in fear. I am insecure. I live in guilt. The next thing is that your child begins to what? Feel alone, stay alone. Long-term negative, you know, you know, it has a long-term negative consequences. Do you understand? There's nobody to talk to. Why can't you talk to anybody? I just want to stay alone. Ah, why? Because they said, or my mommy said, that I am like this. So your child begins to feel like this is, this is who they are. Meanwhile, in the beginning, God has said, this child that you have is a king. So you now have kings who are behaving like slaves. You now have kings who don't understand their identity. You now have kings and queens who think that they must engage in vices to be become who they are. To become who they are. They are thinking less of themselves. They are lonely in their minds. Okay. If, if, see, I, 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 one of the reasons why I like to share my own, my own experiences because if I'm saying things I don't do, it means I'm deceiving myself and the people listening to me. So I always tell my children, God first. God first. You are God's child. Oh, so daddy, really? Oh, yes. Teaching moment it means they don't understand. I teach them. Bam. Children will ask questions because they're on the road to become, you know, to wear their crown. They're on that road. And we are the ones helping them. So instead of transferring the right things, what we do is transfer the wrong things. Our children then don't achieve. Then they lose time. And when they lose time, we now begin prayer sessions. Meanwhile, what we're supposed to have done is training sessions, instruction sessions, teaching sessions, blessing sessions. You are bright, smart, intelligent, and responsible. Do you understand? Your ways are made perfect. God has gone ahead of you to make every crooked way straight. Do you understand? God has gone ahead of you. There will be challenges. But just remember, be determined. Move. Akili, do not be afraid. God has not given you the spirit of fear. Do you know who you are? If you know who you are, you will transfer the right things. See, one of the reasons why, you see, if, if Coach Wendy calls me in a sleep and says, Uncle Sela needs to do something. I answer immediately. You know why? Because we are all crying now because of the weight of vices in the society. Now, 
children begin to think they are abnormal because they are not doing the right things. How? How did we get to this stage that we feel unconsigned? Do you know, we just feel like it's normal. It's not. If your child doesn't steal, you know, somebody begins to make your child feel that, no, now, yeah, you don't go steal. Why you not go steal? And your, do you understand? Your child begins to feel like, uh -uh, he's stealing good. Yeah. Come on. I, Daddy did not tell me all these things. Mommy did not tell me all these things. Do you understand? That is, the, that, is, that, is what we, that is what is happening now. Children are thinking that they are abnormal when they do the right things. Meanwhile, they should be the light telling people that, no, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Do this. This is the right thing. Stand for the right things. So we cannot sleep. Too many children are in fig leaves. Too many. They are lonely. They are rejected. They just feel like, and most times when your child is lonely, they now become victims of bullying, abuse. Then you begin to run at elder skelter. Hey, hey, kilo deo, something has happened. No, hey, my daughter. Because we do not do the right things on time. I'm telling you, our children are made for palace. Your child, eh, your child has in him the king attributes. What you do, transfer the right things and set him up for the right. See the right path. Just sometimes when you just you know sometimes when you see somebody who is training and you know kills a child to cook to do something, you want you want to spoil your picking, you, you want to make him born this thing. No, when your child grows up, want to do all those things, start to start to introduce. I told the eldest girl in my house, look, the, the, your sister is growing. You can't be washing plates alone. Let her join you. What's she doing? And she says, I want to, I want to wash, I want to wash. Yes. Go and wash. Go and go and go and walk. Go and understand how it is. Sometimes when I want to pay people, when I want to pay staff, I call my children. Come and see. This is this is why I'm doing this thing. So that you won't steal money and think that's how they get it. People walk, then we pay them. Oh, that is it true. Yes, that's life. Don't leave your children anyhow. The next one is escapism. This one. This one is the main, this one is one major issue that we are going through now. They seek alternative, alternatives. They seek alternatives. So, mommy doesn't love me. Daddy doesn't love me. They don't have time for me. What do I do? That's where they seek comfort in other things. Comfort in movies. Now, now see one child. We don't do like this. Watch, watch, watch movies. Oh, you, what you read, you look at you. He knows that in two seconds you're out. That he has gone. We watch movies. That's where addiction comes in. Addiction comes. They will look for a way of escape because in them they have to be comfortable. Do you understand? Remember, they are kings. But the way they find comfort, if you don't teach them how to do it, they will look for their own way. And most times it now leads to addiction. Screen. Drugs. Alcohol. Porn. Do you understand? That is that what is that was happening now. A way of escape. They will look for a way of escape. If they look for a way of escape, it means that there's something that you have not been doing. There's something that you are not doing. You are not doing. Sometimes the children just want to gist with me. That the less gist. I say, ah, my father died here. When, when did I ever just to my father? Or we would just say, my father come in, we would just run and got pretend we are sleeping. Then my father would enter the room. I say, ah, oh, this dude, yeah, 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 I, I am very deliberate. And if you are not deliberate in making sure that your children or can have a relationship with you or connection with you, then there will be issues. But just again, hey, daddy, I want to tell you something. So oh, really? All right, let's go. What, what's the issue? She will sit down. Even if, if it doesn't make sense to you, as long as it makes sense to her, 
listen. As long as it doesn't, even if you and even you are wondering, like, what is this guy thinking of? In that time that you are giving her means a lot to her. So that she will not look for it, that it doesn't listen to me. Doesn't, 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 doesn't. Next thing, parties, drinking. And once the drinking it continues, they feel very happy. Hey, the way of escape. And you know, the, let me tell you something. If you play with the devil, the devil doesn't play with you. He has only three things he wants to do. Steal, kill, and destroy. That's all. So you cannot give that space. The Bible says that while the owner slept, the enemy came and planted tars. So it means that as parents, we cannot be sleeping. No, not literally. You will sleep, of course, you will rest. But when you, because there is always a point where you know the devil is saying that this child must not, it must not live or must not become who God has said it will become. And most times, the way he achieves this is true parents. All he just needs you to do is leave your child in fig leaves and just say, hey, she has done my work for me. That's all. Once he gets you to do it, he can just tell you, get angry now. You are just angry and shouting, boo, 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 boo. you beat, pa, 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 pa. do it like this. I'm the daddy. You know, female, bad guy. Meanwhile, what you have done, you have, you have framed something in the mind of your child. And next thing, that child, you will look for how to break that thing that you have done. It now becomes a prayer point. So we need to understand the things that we do. The next one is anxiety. We've we'll talked about escapism. Now we we'll talk about anxiety. When your child begins to fear and worry, persistent or extreme forms of fear and sadness could lead to anxiety. It's called internalizing disorder. Internalizing disorder. We have children now, young, preteens, teenagers, preteens, teenagers, that see they internalize disorder. Persistent and extreme form of fear. Some children cannot even, they are afraid to go home. They failed in school. They, 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 they feel their life has ended. They, you know, they probably they broke plates. Ah, that mommy will kill me. I remember there was a day I broke a plate. <laughs> I, I broke a plate at home, you know, uh, growing up. I, I, I was tiptoeing out of my house. They should not hear. I pack all the plates, drop them. I was tiptoeing. Because of fear that they, they see me. Hi! Guess what? I still remember till today. I remember till today, I remember till today, that very feeling. And I'm telling you as a story because it's a form of fig leaf. Do you understand? Fear. And if your children do not outgrow the fear and worries, it is a big problem. Do you understand? It is a big problem because it, it, it will interfere with their school. They will get to school, they cannot listen. What they are doing is, how can daddy be happy with me? How can mommy be happy with me? Why is it that because of what I did, I don't find peace at home? Your child is talking to himself. Your child is talking to himself, herself. Your child is talking to himself, herself. You, you don't know. All you're thinking of is, I am the daddy, I am the mommy, I have done my own. This my child must hear what? Who said the child wasn't hearing? Do you know that the atmosphere in your home determines how your child grows, determines how your child sees life, determines how your child also relates with other people. The atmosphere in your, your home. Once I just say, everybody decide for prayer, I just say, okay, let's sing. We now see everybody singing and dancing. Do you understand? Do you know why? Because it's always fun, one. Then because they're always teaching moments, then we allow them to express themselves. Say something, what do you know about David, King David. What do you know about King David? What do you know about this person? They will not say, uh, Daddy and Mom will listen to what they know. Then what they will do at the end is add to their knowledge. 
Remove the ones they don't understand. Then teach them right. That is what we are supposed to be doing. That is our work as parents. We are the ones. Join the inner circle. Hey. It is not because of you. Let me tell you. Because if you had your chance, you will not do it. Do you understand? But you see the funny thing? When your mind is renewed, there's a certain way you will act. Your children will see, they will see that, ah, that has changed, though. Guess what? They will begin to change. Because you begin to do the right things. You will begin to say, um, everybody, this house, we don't tell us anymore. Just come boldly to daddy and tell daddy what you have done. What did the Bible say? Come boldly to the throne of what? Grace and obtain what? Mercy. Are you not like God? Are you above giving mercy to your children? You know, you see, that's the, that's the thing. I said, in whose image do you grow your children? If you think that it is about you, you have missed the point. If you understand that your child is a God and she needs to conquer her world, you will do the right things. You will do the right things. Do you understand? You will do the right things. And when you do the right things, children will observe you. Hmm. Daddy loves mommy. Hey, daddy doesn't shout at mommy. It means that I must also love. It means that when I have children, it means when I have my wife, it is how we treat my wife. Daddy knows, daddy understands the, 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 the vices in the society. So when he comes home, he talks to us about it. So when I go to the society, I know the things to say, things to do. Because I know what will come. Oh, you are so sad you didn't take gifts. Don't, don't worry. So this is what we need to do. We need to change the style of our learning. Let's increase it. I will learn with you. I will push you. Let's do this together. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Next thing. Guess what? Your child will be winning because you are there. Do you understand? You are there. You are there to hold your hands. And say, let's go on this journey together. Do you understand? Let's go on this journey together. One of the reasons why a lot of parents will say, Oh, Gusella, come and talk to my children. Come and talk to my children. When I talk to the child, do you know what I always do? I ask the, I ask the father and the mother, How is your home? Because I will teach your child, talk to them about values. And next thing, when they go to the house, that is slapping mommy. No. No, no. Most times, when we train the children, it is the father and the mother that spoils the training. Because what you are doing is you are countering what we have done. So they are thinking, because you are a mentor and you are a model, they are thinking that this is the right way to live. So we talked about anxiety. The last one is that if you add up all these things, what you have done to your child, which is the last F, is that your child fails in life. Yeah. The last F is failure. Because all this, what, what does it is a circle. And then it will only take, it will only take relationship with someone else. You know, and most times it's always after they are grown, they begin, they begin to see that ah, this thing that my daddy is doing is not good. Let me tell you something, something. I, I'm not going into details, but there was something I saw in my home that I said to myself that I will not do this thing when I get married. Guess what? I was not 15 when I said that. I wasn't. I saw something that changed my mind and I said, ah, no, 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 no. I don't like this thing. I don't like this thing. So you cannot, you cannot allow your children lose time because everything that you do, if you leave your children in fig leaves, they will lose time until they understand law. So now let's let's go to let's talk about the prodigal son. After the prodigal son went, flexed, did everything, spent daddy's money and everything, daddy was missing him because of law. He was in fig leaves. He was eating with pigs. And that's another thing. Do not leave your children eating with pigs. If you know 
try and correct it. When he came back, look at the things that happened. Look at the things that happened. The first thing was that the father said, remove that thing that you are wearing. Remove this fig leaf you are wearing. Remove this thing and take this, this cloth, these royal robes of love. Your children need royal robes. Your children are kings. Give them that robe of, that royal robe of love. Make them feel that way. He said, take this robe. When they, then he gave him the ring. Your child is a king. Your, your, your daughter is a queen. They are made for the palace. Do you understand? That's what he did. They cleaned him up. Gave him the royal robes. He removed the fig leaves. When Adam and Eve, when Adam and Eve sinned, what did God do? God, God, our Father, saw them. As he saw them, the first thing he did is that ah, you can't stay in fig leaves. You will be, you 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 will kill yourself. He removed it and made clothes for them. I am saying to us today: Do not leave our children in fig leaves. Build intimacy, build connection. Your children will make mistakes. But don't let that be their life. Don't let that be, you know, don't, don't let that be their image. That this is who you are. This mistake you have made is who you are. No. Your child is made in the image of God. Your child is not supposed to be in fig leaves. Your child is supposed to be wearing royal robes. Do you understand? That royal robe of love. And when you do that, trust me, your child will leave their purpose in life. Thank you very, very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. What an amazing, amazing session. What a session, guys. What a session. Whew. Fig leaves. Kochi, I greet you specially. Fig leaves. <laughs> Fig leaves. <laughs> Well done, good seller. Thank you so much. Thank mm. you so much. Thank you so much. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, Even I can hear you. Although you're frozen you can hear at your end. You're frozen. Oh, wow. You're frozen, okay. but we can hear you. Maybe you okay. should read. Yes. Thank, okay. thank you so much, Uncle um, it thank was you. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this opportunity. So I Yes, I don't have a, I'm, I'm a very good student. Very, very good student. I, I learn I learn from the places you can never imagine. You know, the first time I heard Uncle Stella mentioned, he didn't teach it. He just mentioned the fig leaf concept. I said, what, what is that? I've never heard it before. I just sent him a chat. I said, Uncle General, we can't <laughs> just this thing. Me, I want to learn. It's not, I didn't, so I didn't bring Uncle Stella for you. I brought him for me. <laughs> it was oh, a session good. for me. I wanted to learn. This particular one, I wanted to learn this thing and assimilate it and understand. You know, when he said the fig leaves, do not leave your children in the fig leaves. Oh my goodness, such deep insights. So mm. such deep insights. And you know, it, it was it was for me, it was the escapism for me. It was mm, it, it was yeah. so, much, so much insight shared, you know, on that that particular, you know, yeah. um, uh, part. And, you know, the yeah. end is failure. And Uncle Sela yeah. said something. Your, your children might not, you know, have time again. You might not buy time. And I usually say that, you see this parenting journey, you will destroy your children with your ignorance. And not mm. even time can buy you. All right? Because yeah. sometimes the destruction that happens to the human race is unrepairable, unfortunately. Mm. Very true. Sometimes you can't even repair some of us are still battling with the things that happened in our own upbringing. And we're still dealing with it as we speak yeah. today. So do not give your children, do not bequeath them the fig leaf. Please mm. remove the fig from their body and clothe I'm them you. with the clothes of love. And that prodigal love. son, you see, when I tell you that the TIP, you know, um, the TIP forum platform, it is a place for deep insight. Have you heard your pastor hear that prodigal son? <laughs> Have you ever? 
I don't think anybody has. <laughs> so when I tell you that there are men who are called unto nations in this time, it's not your pastor. Leave your pastor to do your pastor work. This is parenting work. We are the ones called to do it. Your pastor is doing pastor work. It's okay. But this one, you know, you are the one called to do it. I've never heard that, you know, scripture explained in such a manner. It was just so, 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 so insightful. Thank you. I think Adeumi is back here. Thank you for um, being here. Okay, yeah. thank yeah. you. Thank you so much, Uncle Tala. Thank you, Coach Wendy, for breaking that down. Thank you Yay. so much. Um, we're taking off the fig leaves. We are closing our children in royal robes of love. We're loving, loving, loving our children. So we're going to let Uncle Sela take a water break, just sip some water whilst we get our questions. And Uncle Sela, please watch your Instagram handle. Someone is asking what's your handle. Please follow okay, the, the Uncle Sela. The Uncle Sela. <laughs> the, the Uncle Sela. The Uncle Sela. If you follow us on Instagram, you will see where we have tagged him. You will see his his yeah. um, um, handle tag. We're also going to share that um, handle on our Telegram channel. And then we will be frozen again yeah. on our okay. Telegram channel. And um, we have another session in a few minutes. All right. And I'm sure that mm. Elizabeth Mikolid of all the way from the US you know, will be waiting. But we want you know to close so that we can move on to that session. The sessions today are back to back. Don't miss anyone. That the session of I'm a parent you. who is sharing with you how he entered cult, killed people. So don't even hmm. joke. We're not, hey. we're not here to say. Yeah. <laughs> we, brought you, we brought you men that will change your stories. All right? Amen. We brought you men that will Amen. change your parents' stories. And, you know, so we're going to go um, off to uh, continue that session with today. Elizabeth Midodidov, um, we're going to be having, we're also going to be having the Mawobi, and then we're also going to have having Uncle Uwe. So let's quickly go back to that okay. session as we close. Uncle Sala, please, your last words before we close. You know, I always say, Coach uh, Wendy, we say, Uncle Sala, don't tell them to drop the knife, tell them to drop the gun. When Abraham wanted to kill his son, God said, drop the knife please drop the knife don't harm your children thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much thank and like you, coach wendy you. said drop the gun drop the gun drop the knife drop anything coach wendy maybe i'll send you a message there's something i'm doing for tip parents um i have a course online and that is there's a discount and the, the code is tip 2022 oh awesome i'll send it to you okay Okay, please um, do let us know. We'll share with the parents and then Uncle, Uncle Sela is known for the value man. So you imagine somebody who has been in the military for 13 years speaking so calmly. The first time I met him, you know, I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> and I wanted to actually know more about me, man. You know, thank you so much. The Holy, for the Holy being Spirit. Spirit. The Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being my corner, Uncle Sele. I don't take it for thank granted. Thank you so much. Uncle Sele, you know, my so tribe much. members, people that I hold in high esteem. Thank you, sir. I do not take this opportunity for granted. And please follow Uncle Sele, the Uncle Sele on Instagram. Thank you again, and there with me. It's nice working with you this evening again. See you on the other side. All right. Bye bye. Bye. I'm Chine Obasi. I'm a mom of three, and I'm in the inner circle of the Intentional Parents Academy. Okay, the inner circle has been an amazing journey for me. It has um, taught me a lot. It has helped me know that parenting is first all about me before my child. It has taught me that Chine, you have time to parent your children. You cannot say you're all busy, 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 and you don't have time to parent your children. They are kids now, before you know, teenage ages, and before you know, they are off. And you've been looking for where the time runs to. So I have learned to create time, have learned to create structures. We have conversations that some parents might be scared of, like the sex conversations. We have um, our plans. We have our structured media plans, our structured playtime, screen time, and all that. Because the truth is that 
parenting in these days, you need a plan because there are a lot of things out there looking for attention, for the kids, distractions and all that. You just need to have a structured plan to be able to parent in this age and time. And that's one place where the inner circle comes in to really help. It's a big support. It's a big support system. You know, now we, we're not saying we are all perfect. We're not looking for perfect parents. We're, we're learning. We're learning every day. Learning and unlearning and relearning things. And it's been an amazing journey. I, 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 I'm proud to say that. I see more responsibility in my kids. I see them, you know, thriving. I'm, I'm like, wow. It's, it's a place every parent should be part of. Every parent should be part of. You think you know a lot, but that's not true. Learning never ends. And knowledge is really key when it comes to parenting kids in these days. And you need it. And you need that accountability system. You need that accountability system to help hold your hand and teach you things.